Hello friends, welcome to Ansys Tutor. In this video, we are going to analyze a fluid flow and heat transfer due to fluid rotation around a heated cylinder. So there is a cylindrical heat transfer system which consists of three concentric components. At the center, there is a hot inner cylinder which is maintained at temperature of 320 Kelvin. This hot cylinder is surrounded by an annular region of water that rotates in a clockwise direction at angular velocity of 2 radian per second and which is at a temperature of 300 Kelvin. There is another outer cylinder around it which consists of water and at a, it is at a temperature of 300 Kelvin and it is rotating at a counterclockwise direction at the same velocity of 2 radian per second. There is a convective heat transfer from this outer uh, surface of this outer cylinder at a rate of heat transfer coefficient of 3 watt per meter square Kelvin. We need to find out what is the heat transfer from this inner cylinder, hot cylinder and the variation of temperature throughout this cylinder regions. We are going to do this analysis using ANSYS workbench. So open the ANSYS workbench first. Drag the fluid flow fluent into project schematic window. Select the geometry and change the analysis type to 2D. Then right click on the geometry and select new design modeler geometry. We are going to create this geometry, 2D geometry in ANSYS design modeler. In ANSYS design modeler, go to units, then select millimeter. Select the XY plane to draw. Go to sketching toolbox. Select a circle option and draw a circle at this center. Now put this dimension of the circle, diameter as 8 mm and click on generate. Now select the XY plane again and insert another sketch. Go to sketching toolbox and again select the circle option, draw another circle two circles and put the dimension of these two circles. This is we are going to create this annular region cylinder geometry. Now put this diameter as 20 mm outer diameter and inner diameter as 8 mm. Now again go to modeling xy plane and insert another sketch. Now go to sketching toolbox and similarly create this domain for this outer cylinder. Now put this dimension inner diameter as 20 mm and outer diameter as 50 mm. Now all this sketch, three sketch is complete. Now we are going to convert this 2D sketch into 2D surface. For this go to concept tab and select surfaces from sketches. Now select this sketch one, click on apply. Choose add frozen option and click on generate. Now the inner surface body is complete. Similarly, we are going to create this middle annular surface. This is the middle cylinder surface. Similarly, create another for this outer cylinder. Three surface body has been created. Now, select all these three, right click and make a new part. 
Now geometry is complete. Now proceed for meshing. We are going to apply edge sizing first. So insert a sizing option. Select the edge selection tool. Select all this circles of this cylinder part. Click on apply. And select the type as number of divisions. And insert the number of division as 100. Now generate this mesh. Now we are going to apply face sizing, mapped face meshing. Now select all these two faces, click on apply. Then go to mesh and select generate mesh. Mapped face meshing has been generated. The inside surface is solid one, so we do not need to refine it more. Now we are going to put the various name selections or name tags to the various zones and then boundary surfaces. Select the inside of this cylinder, name it as heater. Select the annular region and name it as fluid domain in. Select the outer cylinder and name it as fluid domain outer. Now the, these are the various three cell zones. Now we are going to select this edge selection and put this name of this outer cylinder wall as rotating wall, inner, and the rotating arm of this outer cylinder, rotating wall outer. Right click on this mesh and select update mesh so that the mesh will be linked with this fluent solver. Now close this meshing and proceed for fluent solver setup in ANSYS Fluent. Select the double precision model and click on start. Now go to models, turn on this energy equation, then go to viscous model, select laminar viscous model, click on OK. Now go to materials, we are going to add water. So go to fluent database, select water liquid, click on copy then close. Click on change create then close. Now go to cell zone condition. Here we are going to assign this various materials to this various cell zones. First start with the fluid domain inner. By default the material is air. We need to change it to water liquid, click on apply then close. Select this outer fluid domain, change this default fluid material from air to water liquid, click on apply then close. Keep the default aluminum for this heater material. Now go to boundary conditions, select this zone type. Now go to various walls of this boundary. I select this surface body wall. 
apply the thermal boundary condition temperature of 320 kelvin over here click on apply similarly apply the same as to the shadow of this wall that is 320 kelvin click on apply now the rotating wall in outer we are going to select this moving wall option over here and rotational option over here and put the speed as 2 radian per second click on apply then close and keep this temperature thermal temperature as 300 kelvin and apply convection heat transfer from this outer surface of this outer cylinder as 3 watt per meter square kelvin out atmospheric temperature as 300 kelvin and click on close an inner rotating cylinder select this moving wall option again and select the rotational option and here you put the speed as anti clockwise direction as 2 minus 2 radian per second and keep the touch coupled wall heat transfer so that the heat from this inner will be transferred to this outer cylinder similarly apply this rotational wall boundary condition to this its shadow wall you can apply then close shadow wall is this adjacent wall nearest to this wall boundary which is connected to this outer fluid domain now go to solution methods select simple solution Reservoir velocity coupling and gradient as green gas cell waste gradient. Now go to monitors, select residuals, decrease the residuals up to 10 to the power minus 6 for a better accuracy. Click on OK. Then go to initialization, standard initialization. Select compute from all zones and temperature as 300 Kelvin initial temperature. Click on initialize. And go to run calculation page. Insert the number of iteration as thousand and click on calculate. The calculation process would take some time. Calculation is complete. Now close this plant solver setup and open the results to see what is the output results from this simulation insert a new contour select all these surfaces click on okay select the variable as velocity and the range as local range and number of contours as 100 then click on apply this is the velocity contour of this flow now go to default legend size and change it to fixed value now insert a velocity vector select the location select all these surfaces as symmetry 1 of this fluid domain and symmetry 2 then click on okay then click on apply using this velocity vector we can see how the flow is moving through this fluid domain so increase this arrow size a little bit so that to visualize properly here you can see in the inside fluid domain the flow is in clockwise direction 
whereas in outside fluid domain the ro direction shows that there is a flow in anti clockwise direction and this middle there is the neutral flow or the flow velocity is minimum over here Now insert another contour to see the temperature variations in this fluid domain. Select all these surfaces and click on apply. This is the temperature variation. Temperature of 320 and this middle of this cylinder which is decreasing towards this outer of fluid domain. Now we are going to insert a line to see how the temperature is varying throughout this from the inside to this outside. Put this coordinate point of this two points of this line. Turn off this contour to see it properly. Put it as minus 0 0.025, then click on apply. This is a line from this. Now we are going to see the temperature variation along this line. In the data series, select the location as line 1. And the x axis, put this variable as x. The y axis put this variable as velocity, then click on apply. Now, here you can see the velocity is maximum at this outer surface, it is decreasing, then at the inner cylinder, it is increasing towards this cylinder. And similarly, the temp with the increase in number of points. Number of sample points you can see this variation of this velocity throughout the cylinder like this. Now we are going to see this variation of temperature. Select the variable as temperature and click on apply. Here you can see the temperature variation. Temperature is maximum at this middle and it is decreasing towards this outer cylinder. With this, let us conclude this demonstration. Hope you have liked this video. Please comment below if you have any doubt. Thank you. Keep learning and keep exploring.